Welcome to Whiskey is a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. Today's Wednesday, which means we are going to do a sip it or skip it segment. Here's how it's going to work. I have all of my whiskeys in my collection randomized on a randomizer. I'm going to spin the wheel, pull it off the shelf, pour it, give you some quick tasting notes, and then let you know if I'm going to sip it until the bottle's gone and rebuy it, or if I'm going to sip it until the bottle's gone and replace it with something different, if I'm going to skip it the next time around. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. Coastal Creek peanut butter. <laughs> this is actually my sister's. I'm going to go ahead and grab it off the shelf anyway, pour it, and let you guys know what I think of it. All right, Coastal Creek peanut butter flavored whiskey. Let's go and get this thing poured, talk about it quickly, and then let you know if it's a skip or a sip. All right, Coastal Creek peanut butter flavored whiskey. This is coming in at 60 proof, 30% alcohol by volume, ABV. I don't even know if this classifies as a whiskey. Maybe flavored whiskeys can come in at 30%, but whiskey has to be at least a minimum of 40% ABV. So this is not like a true whiskey. On the nose, peanut butter, go figure. Strong peanut butter. Um, I really don't know anything about this. 60 proof, 30% ABV. My sister drinks peanut butter whiskey. She also mixes peanut butter whiskey with Green Spot. She absolutely loves that. I'm guessing total wine and more. I don't think I've seen this or even looked for it in a liquor store. So your guess is as good as mine. A little bit of vanilla in it. That's pretty much it. Peanut butter, vanilla, maybe a little molasses and caramel. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yeah, super, super sweet. Very sweet. On the palate, ton of ton of peanut butter. Oh, on the back end, a little bit of a whiskey flavor there. Very slight, but we do have that whiskey, whiskey note. All the information for the whiskey is right here again. I've had Screwball before and this. I'm not a big Screwball fan. In fact, I'm not much of a flavored whiskey fan, but it's very desserty. Let's go ahead and go for another sip. I can see this being put into a mixer for some sort of ice cream dessert by itself. I would not drink that, even though I'm drinking it now. And this just goes to show you how random this is. I mean, I have over 200 and some odd whiskeys in my collection and it came up with this. I even forgot that it was here. Every once in a while, my sister will come over. She's not a huge whiskey, actual uh, bourbon or Irish or any of the scotches that we have. She'll mix it with Green Spot and then the peanut butter whiskey with a ice cube. She likes it a lot. All right, the finish, not so much. We do, I do get that uh, back end of whiskey. There's a little bit of alcohol burn very, very slightly, but I do think I have an opinion on this. So let's get on with this and let you guys know if this is going to be a sip or a skip for me. $19.99 at Total Wine and More. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. I'm not a flavored whiskey person. If and when I ever do go through this bottle, my sister will replace it, but it's definitely a skip for me. I won't be putting my money towards flavored whiskeys. And then my sip it or skip it tally is right here. You guys can keep track of that. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you like this information, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a like on this video if you're interested in this. If you know anybody that's in the whiskey world, share this video with them. Enjoy your journey. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm not, I'm not going to take another sip of this. See you guys later.